Hello and welcome. My name is Patrick from Tripsai Solutions. Today I'm presenting to you the manufacturing module of front accounting. Front accounting, as we've mentioned before, is a free online ERP. And for me, the manufacturing module is one of the most exciting. The reason being what it enables you to do in terms of easing your work, especially for production or manufacturing entities. First, I'll give you an overview of functions under this module. The principal one is that it enables you to create a bill of materials or recipes uh, for your products, for your manufacturing. Also it enables you to create work centers and uh, that enables you to monitor the costs of production. Also helps you create work orders according to the bill of materials you've pre-created and manage them accordingly accordingly al along the various stages of the production process. Finally, it enables you to uh, monitor the manufacturing reports, performance through reports. Next, I want to take you through a brief demo to enable you to appreciate how it, it feels and looks like. The landing page of the manufacturing module has three groups of transactions. The main transactions include the work order entry, the management of the work orders across the process, that is outstanding work orders, and of course the bill of material maintenance and maintenance of uh, work centers. And then finally the reports in the, in the middle uh, row. First let's look at how the bill of material creation looks like. In the bill of material screens, you will see the items that you select uh, with the breakdown of what the component that uh, that consists the bill of material. For example, this item called panga. It in it to create one panga, you need one panga blade, one panga handle, and three panga handle pins. At the bottom here, if you want to create a new one, you'll you'll have to to select to enter the information and then add a new one. So the new one that you have created, you'll find it there. Yep. Now, once you've created the bill of materials, that's almost like a one-off thing. Uh, you can come in and. Uh, the work on the entry. An example, if you want to create um, a work order for five pangas, you come here in this screen and, and you specify these parameters. How many pangas you want to create. Then you add a work order. Now, once you, you've, you've created a work order, from the main screen, you should be able to access any outstanding work order so that you can progress it to the next. Now, the one you have just created, of five, creating five fungus, appears here. And you can see the information that is listed, the reference, the, the, uh, the manufacture type or production type, the location where the production is happening, the item, the, require, the, the items required the once manufactured because you can create a work order then maybe you, you manufacture in bits or you produce them in bits the date of creation and then the date of requirement in this case we have like a 20 day automatic gap between the date that you, you order them and the date required but you can produce them you can, even if you set it like that you can be able to produce them uh, earlier now, the default status after creating a work order is uh, ready for release. Before the work order moves to for production or is, is available for production, you have to release it. The release it comes to this page. You can say something or can make a comment uh, for, for it as you release. Then once you release, uh, it will appear the same one it appears now as re already released 
you can still edit it as the, is when it's in this status. You can issue all the items from the inventory. Process issue. Then when you issue the items so that they, they can be available for manufacturing, you can add any costs that are related. If there is any labor costs, you can add them. And then finally you can do what we call production. So far, you can see manufactured are still zero, but issues have been done. Our inputs are located to that production order. Then you once you process, you see that that once you 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 process, you see that 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 um, that work on order quantity required quantity manufacturing becomes five. Meaning, now that 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 work order has been work has been has been finalized. And the next thing we do is close. Now the work order is is. Uh, fully produced now it is closed major reports you have bill of material listing so you can list the bill of materials of various uh, production items you can also uh, list the work orders listing in printable form maybe work order if there are any for panga then you list and they can be printed so this is showing all of them. And as you can see, all the pangas that have been ordered have been produced. You can see the reference, the location, the dates, the requirement date, and uh, all that information. So in summary, you see that in the manufacturing module, you can do work order entry, you can monitor studying work order and manage them. You can inquire on all work orders, then you can create and ma maintain the bill of materials, and finally you can do all your reporting and analysis. And that is it for now. This was a brief overview of what you have in the manufacturing module. So thank you for listening to me.